Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. I'm here with my father. Kevin. And what we said at the end of our last video aged like milk. Uh, <laughs> it, it, was, uh, it did not age well. Um, I think we summarized it saying, you know, we'll probably be done with diss tracks because how could Kendrick drop anything else? And yep. how could Drake even respond? Yep. And we were like, don't worry, guys, we're done with diss tracks. But uh, Kendrick dropped another one. Uh, literally, as I was rendering that video for YouTube, I tweeted out, I said, we're rendering. And people I was said, laughing. People, yeah, the comments were funny. People were like, get your ass back in that seat. Go, yeah, and go back go get the camera too. running because he dropped another one. Yeah. Um, but no, I was actually planning on just us listening to it without a reaction because I was like, okay, at this point, uh, you know, it's... How many disses can he do? How, yeah, how like, far like, can it go? How, we're not going to make our whole channel diss related. Like we've yeah, got a, yeah. we've got people that follow us for our rock reviews and our uh, pop stuff and, yeah. and and other hip hop artists other than Kendrick and Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was questioning, you know, if I should do it or not, if we should make a video. But the amount of comments and messages uh, that I've gotten saying you need to do this one, I'm like this is probably the most important one out of them all. Yeah, there was a few violent ones too. People, Messages. Yeah, get your fucking ass in gear yeah. and start recording. <laughs> yeah, I got, we got some 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 mean ones as well, yeah. but uh, no. That was from my mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, grandma. <laughs> get on there and yeah. she, to not like us. Yeah, she's loving the beef. Um, no, so yeah, lots of people messaging us about this one and I was like, okay, yeah, fine, we'll, we'll do it. Um, to talk about it quickly... From what I know, uh, I know everything through just Twitter. Uh, I haven't listened to the song, and you don't really know much at all about it. Uh, I, I, I know. I, no. No. <laughs> uh, first, we'll start off cover art. It's Drake's mansion uh, with these little like dots, location, uh, dots. location dots that like locate a person. Uh, I thought it was something to do with like Call of Duty at first. I thought it was like you know like a, a missile thing or something like that. Yeah. Um, but apparently it is like a from an uh, an app where you can uh, see predators in your Ooh. area. Yeah. So uh, already wow. hitting them hard with the <laughs> with the cover. Just art. the cover. That's hard. Yeah. And then what I have heard uh, about the track. Uh, is it's kind of Kendrick's attempt at going, uh, playing in Drake's ballpark with making a catchy diss track. Mm -hmm. Because back in 2015, I think it was, I think it was 2015, when Drake dropped Back to Back, that song was everywhere. People were playing it, people were dancing to it. I remember uh, I was in high school at the time, so... I wasn't in the clubs, uh, but I was going to parties, and yeah. it was like it was one of the party songs. It was that on, summer. right? Like you played that song, people would all. I get it. Uh, we gotta hear that after, because I yeah, I, I yeah. Like to hear a diss track. Well, we, could, we could test with it, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah p people would play that, uh, you know, continuously all the time, and it was uh, it was fun. So I, what I've heard is this was Kendrick's take it at that, like making a catchy diss track. Yeah, and it's kind of. The final nail in the coffin, I guess. I thought Meet the Grams would be like that. Yeah. That final nail, like that. Everything's done, but apparently not. He's apparently got Kendrick, more nails. He's like, yeah, I, I, I do. I, he's got more nails. He, he talked to Tizo. He, he went to Home Depot. <laughs> no, or, Tizo. Yeah, yeah, Tizo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he hit up Tizo and said, "Tizo, can I fucking borrow a couple things off you?" <laughs> um, no. So, yeah, we're gonna do it, and then. I'm hoping, I'm not hoping because I, I do want to, I like covering these tracks. They're fun. But yeah. uh, regardless of if there's more tracks or not uh, coming down the pipeline, we're going to continue recording some other stuff. Like yeah. our next video will not be a diss track. Uh, it will be a rock album or a something, something different. Uh, because yeah, I don't want to just flood the entire channel with we've become a full beef coverage yeah yeah channel we got to cover some chicken exactly some seafood seafood I, okay i gotta ask a question for you being a newbie to to beef um what are the chances that this is they're they're working together they're going to release an album together a dance album in in like a month's time they're going to both of them will be working on an album together hey i mean it could be 
I, I don't. I think the chances are slim. Some hype for the an album release. Uh, but you know, I wouldn't say it's completely out of the question. But yeah. I highly doubt it. We got um, you. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. they would have went deep into the. Yeah, I don't think they would have went that deep. I don't think they'd... I mean, the stuff that Kendrick is accusing Drake of is stuff that, like, I could if they were working together <laughs> in the room and they're like, all right, what should we do? And the, Drake's like, all right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do your height. Is that, is that cool? And yeah, Kendrick's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm going to call you a sex offender and a pedophile. Yeah, I'm good with that. And yeah. Drake's like, um, <laughs> you sure about that? Like, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. can we, like, maybe do something else? Like, you know, make fun of, like, uh, that I'm Canadian, Canadian or that, I was, aunt, yeah. that I, was a, I was an actor before. No, no, no. no. I like the pedophile angle. Yeah, yeah. And Drake's like, oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Fork, let's do it. I mean, yeah. this is going to sell tickets to our tour, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think that's it's the not going to happen. Um, I, I think this is legitimate beef. <laughs> just, just hate. Kendrick Lamar. Not like us. First reaction for both my dad and I. Let's do it. Let's do it. Psst. I see dead people. Hey, monster on the beat, ho, depot, any rap nigga, he a free throw. Man down, call like Amber Lambs, tell him free, bro. Nell a nigga to the cross, he walk around like Tizo. What's up with these? Oh. <laughs> hey, we're just talking about that. <laughs> he said nail, too. How many ops you really got? I mean, it's too many options. I'm finna pass on this body, I'm John Stockton. I like this beat. Beat your ass yeah. the Bible if God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas certified boogie man. I'm the one that up to score with him. Walking down whole time. I know he Kendrick's never done something like this, hey? Ever? Bully the flow on him. Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to cell block one. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love. Just make sure you hide your little sister from him. Whoa. Joey Chubb's the only one that get your hemi downs and party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird case. Why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. Whoa. Fuck him up. I'ma do my stuff. Why you trolling oh like God. a bitch? Ain't you tired? Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. <laughs> He's still holding they the A minor. Like they not like us. They oh not my like God. Us. They not like oh, us. Shit. They not like us. They not like us. You think the bay gon' let you disrespect pop nigga? I think that Oakland show gon' be your last stop nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. <laughs> the audience not dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey Drake, they're not slow. Rabbit hole is still deep. I can go further, I promise. Ain't there some be rest that's for bitching? You Malibu most wanted. Ain't no love boy, you ball boy. Fetch get a raid or something. Since 2009, I had this bitch jumping. You niggas will get a wedgie. Be flipped over your boxes. Well, over your foe. The other vaginal option. <laughs> <laughs> Love the break. Yeah. His, his <laughs> voice changed. I've never heard that ever. They not like us. They not like us. They not like us. You can see this being a club like banger. Us. Yeah. They not like us. They not like us. Once upon a time, all of us were sending chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second. Let me put y'all on game. The settlers was using town folk to make them richer. Fast forward 2024, you got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you. This the real nigga challenge. You call a future when you didn't see the club. Hey, what? Little baby, help you get your lingo up. What? 21, get your first street cred. Thug, make you feel like you a slime in your head. Hey, what? Cravo said you can be from north side but two chains say you good but he lied you run to atlanta when you need a few dollars no you're not a colleague you're a fucking colonizer oh, oh my family God. Matter. And the truth of the matter he was god's plan to show y'all the liar mm. Mm -hmm. he a fan he a 
fan, he a fan. Mm. That last verse was the hardest oh, hitting. In terms yeah. Of like, yeah. Well, no, I, it can't be the hardest hitting. He called him a fucking pedophile. Yes. Yeah. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for your life. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for Let your life. Let me hear you say O V ho. O V ho. Say O V ho. <laughs> no. O V ho. Then step this way, step that way. Then step this way, step that way. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Then step this way, step that way. Then step this way, step that way. <laughs> great, 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 great. Oh, okay. That might be the best one. That yet. might be the best one yet. Even though Meet the Grams was like incredible, I think that's my favorite. You know what? Hands down. You know, the first off, the music and Kendrick's voice, the way he manipulated his voice. And and is this sort of like a fuck you to like, I can do the same shit? The club I think shit? so, yeah. Yeah, because he did it, it good, man. He did it, I, yeah, arguably better than push-ups in terms of like making it catchy. It was catchy. Super catchy. Oh, had I, a chorus. Yeah. The bars. Okay, some of yeah. them were fucking insane. Like the, the allegations were fucking, you know, the strong allegations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> somehow made them catchy yep uh and then there was some funny fucking lines what was the ovo one other vaginal option yeah what's ovo for the other vaginal option pussy uh, oh my god uh, but he, he, when he got into when he got into the second part when he was like let me tell you this is how it is right oh he he totally switched it up and went into like okay for i'm Right now, I'm joking around. I'm having fun. Boom. Now we're in a classroom. Verse three. Yeah, verse Once three. Once upon a it's time, like, all, like, all of us was in chains. Homie doubled down, calling us some slaves. Uh, Atlanta was the mecca building railroads It felt and like trains. he was like in a fucking lecture hall. Like, okay, now let's actually like, you know, fucking explain to you some shit that you've been doing. Yep. Um, you know, when you weren't in the club, you got future to be featured. All, yeah, all of these. So it's like, here it is. Like, uh, uh, you called future when you didn't see the club. Yeah. Little baby helped you get your lingo up. 20, 21 gave you false street cred. Thug made you feel like a, a slime in your head. Quavo said you can be from the north side. Two chains said all good, but he lied. You run to Atlanta when you need a few dollars. No, you're not a colleague. colleague you're a colonizer. You're a fucking colonizer. That's holy wow. shit. Yeah, this this is easily the best song out of the out of the nine. 10 or I don't know how many tracks. Wow. Uh, this is my favorite, at least. I'll say that. I, I got I to, can I, I'm just going to read the term here. Tar term colonizer identifies Drake's relationship to hip hop and black culture. Lamar uses the distinction between colleague and colonizer to indicate that Drake, who is half white, benefits from an appropriate appropriates black culture without fully understanding the experience and the struggles of being black. Wow. I mean, that's, that's heavy. I want to hear that again. I know. I that, just want to play it. The, the other stuff, you know, the first verse uh, or the beginning, how do I go back? Um, okay. One, we just talked about Tizo. <laughs> we were in the, I don't know, in the beginning, like before the thing we were talking about, I thought that was the final nail in the coffin. You were like, Kendrick probably has extra, he got some extra nails probably from Tizo. I was going to say, oh, he went to Home Depot as yeah. a joke, but you were like, oh, he probably went, <laughs> went to Tizo. To and then he brings up that line. Yeah. Uh, fucking, what was it? Uh, nail him to the cross, he walk around like, like Tizo. Tizo. Yeah. That's funny. Um, and then, man, everything, so, like, <laughs> certified lover boys, certified pedophiles, wop, 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 dot, fuck him up. Um, I'm strike a chord and it's probably a minor. <laughs> but you know what? Okay, uh, could I? Can you, can you listen to? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm still in disbelief that he fucking said that. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, people this summer are gonna be in the club saying that exact and holding that note, and, like they're gonna be in the clubs in, <laughs> all across North America and probably in the Europe world, too, yeah, yeah, and going probably a minor, yeah, trying to trying to track a trying to track a score and man, a minor. You, you, could, you had a stroke there. You couldn't say what well, you're just, trying to. You're trying to. You said. Trying to strike a strord, <laughs> strike a chord, strike a chord. <laughs> Too much going on here. 
Okay, is was that not the A minor holding it long? Was that not a retort to uh, one of the long notes that he held in Drake? Drake held one, and he remember he, he elongated the note the same. Was it in push-ups? I forget. I think there's, it was in push-ups, but he so held it. He now. held it really long, and yeah. we were like, "Holy shit, he's holding that note really long." Yeah, I do remember that moment. I don't remember which song. I think yeah. it was push-ups. I think yeah. it was probably off push-ups. Yeah, but that was. The, I think he. I think he did that. To kind of yeah, because yeah. to hold it as long it's like I forget the line that it was, but I, it was it was definitely off push ups. Yeah, yeah. We've only done two of the Drake disses and and Family Matter. It definitely wasn't on Family Matter. Yeah, yeah. I don't think, but um, yeah. And then the next verse talking about disrespecting Tupac, um, talking about OVO, rabbit holes still deep. I can go further. I promise. Oh jeez. So, uh, which I don't doubt. I have no doubt that Kendrick could go further. Um, what was the line to John Stockton here? I just want to say, uh, just... oh, that's right. I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't even say fina, fina, fina. Pass on this body. I'm finna. I'm finna. I'm finna pass on this body. I'm John Stockton. John Stockton was the was was uh, the the um, a teammate of Carl Malone who mm-hmm. in, who impregnated a thirteen year old as an adult. Oh my god! Yeah, this Car- just keeps getting fucking deeper. From the Utah Jazz, Play, Crank Kendrick is playing into the rumors of pedophilia surrounding Drake. Man, I, I'm just in, impressed with Kendrick being able to have a diss track this with this much substance in it, like each line is there's no filler no filler at all but no. so catchy and like i want to run it back and listen to it again. we got it we, like we got it like it's it's catchy as hell it's yeah. so fun and then this part because youtube's uh kendrick thank you kendrick he's letting reactors react to this you know completely uncut just yeah um and i think that's totally cool i guess he just wants people to be sharing the song well, everybody's gonna be singing this yeah but no i so i can play this part again yeah uh when he goes into the uh bridge no this part here where he, with Pac, uh his voice yeah it's all eyes on me and i'm gonna send it up the pot i put the roll label on me i'm gonna get them dropped i tweet chin music and i won't pass the ox i how many stocks do i really have in stock i one two three four five plus five i devil is a lie he is 69 god i freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside i roll their ass up like a fresh pack of zon i city is back up it's a must we outside i like that voice there. That's you <laughs> haven't heard. Have you heard that voice? I mean, I've heard like variations of that type of voice, but yeah. not, not that exact voice. Um, like Kendrick is, he's you know the master at, of, at yeah. like changing his voice in songs. Um, you look at his whole discography, and he's got five hundred different voices. Voices on, but, yeah. Um, like that one was just so aggressive and fun. Yeah. And this song had such a bouncy west coast feel uh i think mustard was the perfect choice for this uh because you know drake especially drake being canadian you know i don't know what he like how you you know could make a diss track like in this vein Uh, i don't know like he would have to lean more towards the east coast east coast style of production yeah or what what he does you know with uh we've heard him on many tracks where he kind of keeps it like laid back remember uh for all the dogs the what was it called scary hours yeah. where he had like a few producers and it was um you know i, I don't remember if it was the alchemist maybe the alchemist but those style production yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think he had uh what's his name the guy that works with griselda um um griselda no one of the griselda producers yeah. he had on there um like I could see Drake responding with like a, a you know that type of production, but uh, I can't see him doing something like this. Yeah, yeah. Like I I don't th- I think Kendrick beat him lyrically with Meet the Grams, and now he's beaten him in the catchy catchy club. Yeah, yeah. Banger. Mu- yeah, in the area. music in the musical department for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. No, no doubt. Like having having chorus. Like having that's what I asked you about back to back is that back to back is is there gonna it's gonna no, go is it gonna go anywhere he's got a bridge on here he's got a chorus yeah there wasn't I don't think there was a chorus in back to back there's yeah. just some really standout lines that people liked singing yeah, yeah. Um, but you know what I think having that chorus when you go to the chorus and you make it really really catchy there and you actually have 
Like he's got, they're not like us. They, they're not like us. They're not like us. Mm -hmm. Even though how short it is, it takes you away for that moment. And then you go back to concentrating on the, the lyrics. makes the verses hit harder. They, they hit, hit harder. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it just if it's just roll on, roll on, roll on, it's just, you know. I mean? That final verse was, was pretty crazy though. Um, I think that might be my favorite just because it, it literally felt like he stepped out of the club to give you a lesson, that, give you some history yep. and tell you what Drake is doing, um, you know. Well, also, Drake also said, you know, talking to him about like him being this, you know, this, was it, what did, what the reference did he say to, to Kendrick is like, you're trying to be the savior and all yeah, this kind yeah, of stuff, yeah. right? But then, then the verse three also was like, that, that was the whole chunk there was like addressing that, addressing that. Atlanta was the Mecca building railroads and trains, right? Bear with me for a second. Let me put it on the, the, the bear with me for a second is what to me, yeah, it got me like that that fucking exciting feeling when I listen to Kendrick. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay, bear with me with a second. Let's let's talk about this. And then yeah, he, yeah. it felt like he just took you into yeah. a classroom. He sat your ass down and he's like, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about about some history and yeah. what Drake is doing here and how he's you know, I I don't know if that's true. Like I know it's true. Drake you has worked with future little baby, yeah, yeah, young thug, all these artists. I don't know uh, if Drake was using them and it's like a, a fake friendship or if they're, I mean, him and 21 seem like they do have a real like brother yeah. thing going on. Like they're real friends. So I, I, I mean, I see what Kendrick's coming at, but I could also see how Drake could defend himself in the sense that like, you know, yeah, he's, you know, benefiting off of future and little baby but maybe there is like a real love there i don't know yeah 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 know? exactly so, so that's that those are things that we can't really you know fully uh pick a side on because no it's hard it's it, it is really hard and, and i like we, we said in this whole thing as well too it's hard because you know everything is allegations and and thrown back and forth right it, the, the first person to come out with proper evidence receipts i think is the winner of this beef yeah i think as of right now kendrick has dropped the better songs yeah but you know whoever comes out with the truth is the one who wins yeah, yeah. at the end of the day and if we um, do get an album a, a, a drake uh, kendrick album at the end of the month yeah, like you said, they, they, they yeah. hug, they're hugging and <laughs> they're hugging they're, they're, they're and talking about positivity. Yeah, this has all been a big thing, a big facade. Yeah, no, but uh, that that was that was usually my favorite. Um, yeah, that was that's really really good one, man. Um, so I just want to see uh, the six god here. That, there's so many little things here. Oh, Drake calls himself the six god. Oh, that's what he. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, so he's he's calling him a sixty nine god. Him a sixty nine god, I guess. Just cause yeah, it's, you know, sex position. sex position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ah, so yeah, that's that's <laughs> I don't know. I'm still a little bit in disbelief with that track. That is, uh, uh, it's the thing that's funny and and like it's just gonna be weird. Is I I know I'm gonna go out this summer and I'm going to go to a club at some point and I'm yeah. probably gonna hear this and it's like there's a slight uneasy feeling that I get. Uh, not as bad as, as Meet the Grams, where yeah. like I felt like kind of gross after listening to that. I was like, this is like fucking foul. Like, oh yeah, my yeah, God. yeah. Like, that he yeah. just killed him. Um, I just feel like an uneasy feeling that people are going to be talking about Drake being possibly a pedophile and a sex offender um, in the club. Like, yeah, people yeah, are going to yeah. be singing that. Like I feel like that's just I don't know. Like when I hear it in the club, when you hear that line, yeah, I'm gonna be like, "This is fun to listen to," but at the same time, like, "Fuck with the stuff yeah. he's talking about," yeah, you know. So I don't know. Yeah, Family Matters. I played it for your mom, and, and we went line by line, right? Mm -hmm. We were upstairs listening to it by line by line, and it made mom uncomfortable. Even Family Matters did. Yeah, really. Oh, yeah. that she should listen to. Uh, yeah, Meet the Grams. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, Meet the Grams. Sorry, Meet the Grams. Oh, it was, okay, it was Meet okay. the Grams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah I, it, we, I tried to do it in the car, but the fucking bass was too booming. Oh, so you couldn't hear the. So letters. I couldn't, and so I was getting frustrated when we, were, when we were driving to the beach. I said, "You got to listen to this," but I thought, you know what? Let's sit at home. And I put it through the it. good speakers, and then we had the lyrics up. Yeah. And Mum was like, "Holy shit!" Like, yeah, like the it, way he approached it, each one, each yeah. one, like wow, she I, was like a lot of these songs. The Kendrick ones specifically make me slightly uncomfortable, like listening to them. Yeah. Um, 
uh, if because you know what he's alluding to is is super serious yeah. subject allegations. Um, yeah, the Drake ones don't make me feel like that. Which um, you know the Drake ones are I tend to have more fun like laughing like they're they're just funny yeah bars, funny bars like that, you know, so how yeah. you big stepping with a size seven men's on like that is yeah funny. yeah um you're back to the curb the kendrick ones that's what i'm saying if the allegations are true if somebody comes out with with real proof or receipts uh then i think kendrick is coming out on top um, yeah you know if if it turns out that none of this is true and kendrick was bullshitting about all this uh then I don't know. Then maybe I'd look at Kendrick differently. Yeah, I, I'm a, yeah, I would too. I, I would too. Like I'm, I'm thinking right now that he's got something down that rabbit hole that he's still holding on to. But uh, unless stuff comes out, uh, and if it comes out, and it's, 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 there's no 11 year old, and and the, all these things that he alleged are not true. I got to look at him differently. I would too. Yeah, because I'd be like, well, why did you go there? Like you know, like yeah, you know, fake stuff to, to like yeah. I would definitely look at Kendrick differently. So it's really depending on how this plays out, which I feel like it's going to be a long thing. Yeah. And maybe this will age badly again uh, <laughs> because maybe something will come out tomorrow. Yeah. But, yeah. Or the next, um, as soon as we start rendering. Yeah. As soon as we start rendering this, something else The phone's happens. going off. Ding, ding, ding. Um, but no. Uh, well, we'll end the video here. Um, I, yeah, I I don't know. I, I think this is going to be a long process. Uh, it will be talked about for a while. And I do think this will go down in uh, in music history, not just hip hop history. I yeah, think, I think I, the, two of the biggest artists, and they're not like move hip hop aside, move genres aside. These are just two of the biggest artists in the world. Yeah, the big two going, yeah, <laughs> going at each other. Um, this will be, you know, noted in history uh music, and I was here music for history it. yeah and you I got, think it was pretty cool I think that's been pretty well cool. you were you were there for for other big moments in in music history uh just cer certain ones you weren't you know fully engaged in like yeah. the, the Tupac and Biggie stuff like you were alive literally just watched saw it on the news yeah didn't know I just I, I knew there was east coast west coast rivalry right he even actually uh, he, he mentioned that in here eh? Mm -hmm. um eh um where he said Oh, I just hit this one here. 69 is also the sex position, right? Yeah. Back to that one. And then Kendrick also seems to reference rapper Takashi 69, who pled guilty to felony level minor related sex crimes. That, yeah, I do remember. And 69. received a four year probation period and a thousand, um, or a community, a thousand hours of community service. But where he said, uh, da -da, here it is, he talked about, um, he made reference to, there, there's this. <laughs> I just went. I just passed. What? What will we owe for? <laughs> that one's ridiculous. The other vaginal option. Uh, um, where? No, he hits. Uh, <laughs> trying to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor. Um, death row here. Mm, he he brings in death row. Yeah. So the mention of death row likely alludes to the notorious record label Death Row Records, known for its association with gangster rap, who is known for intimidating tactics. Death row on him applies a level of threat reminiscing. Uh, of the intimidation atmosphere so did, associated with um, Death Row Records. Like, pull on him, extort shit, bully Death Row on him. Mm. Right? I see. Well, we'll end this here. Um, like I said, hopefully my words don't age as badly as they did in the last video where I said <laughs> we're done with diss tracks. Um, I hope you guys had fun. Um, and I hope everybody is, uh, yeah, is enjoying life. Like we talked about in the, well, the YouTube version won't see this, though. So the Patreon version, you can check this out on Patreon. We, we talk a lot more in the beginning. Uh, we go, we'll go through a little recap of all the events that have led to this. Um, but, uh, usually on Patreon, you guys, uh, get the uncut version of the song, uh, because we have to cut it up on YouTube. Uh, it would get copyright striked, uh, if we didn't. Uh, and taken down, but for this instance, Kendrick uh, is letting everybody react to it. So, um, if you want to check out the Patreon version, uh, you're just going to hear us talking more. Um, you don't get the benefit of listening to the full song, but uh, you also get access to the Discord and, and all our older videos if you are interested. Which are all now in collections. Yes, you've worked hard on yes. doing that. So, so if it, you find an artist, if you're interested in, in hip hop, you can go and look through hip hop collections. Collections, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to, you know, scroll for hours to find one video that you want to see. Yeah. Uh, anyway, 
I had fun. You had fun? I had lots of fun. That was good. I'm going to play it again upstairs right now. Oh, if yeah. mom's not on a call, I'm going to crank it. Oh, actually, we could do it in these speakers here. We could here. do it down here. We could yeah. do it. We'll play it twice. We'll play it like upstairs, upstairs downstairs. and downstairs. Yeah. We'll go in the car. We'll <laughs> That'd like, be cool to listen to the car, actually. Yeah, drive around. Yeah. Anyway, take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Much love. Peace. Whew.